couple of months ago, we published a video called Why do wind turbines shut down in high wind speeds? Uh, yeah, you can have a look, I'm putting a link on the top right corner now. And in this video, we were talking about uh, grid loss, or we, we mentioned the grid loss event briefly. And some people asked what exactly happens in a grid loss event. And uh, that raises some, some very interesting uh, questions when it comes to, yeah, to, to wind turbines. So, so this video is about this today. And yeah, we're going to have a look at the aerodynamic torque. So that's the, you know, the, the torque uh, produced by the aerodynamic loads on the, on the main shaft. We're going to look at the generator torque um, as well. And this one here, that's the difference between the two. So the aerodynamic torque minus the, the generator torque. And lastly, we're going to have a look at the RPM. And we can put these two together. Okay, and if I start the simulation, so what we see now is, you know, the red curve here, so that's the generator torque, and the blue one is the, the aerodynamic torque. And then this one is the difference between the two. And you can see that, you know, the, the aerodynamic torque is, is trying to spin uh, the wind turbine clockwise here, and the generator torque is well, it's essentially trying to, to stop it, so it's applying the torque in, in the other direction. And, you know, basic Newton's second law, if you, have a, you know, if you have a difference in torques, then you get a rotational acceleration. And that's, that's what happens here, is that when, the, when, the, when there's a difference in the torques, then the RPM increases, and then, not that they're getting being equal or, or close to equal when they're uh, reaching a similar value, the, the RPM stabilizes around, yeah, around the value. Um, you should also know that the, the way this, this controller works for this model is that the generator torque is going to depend on the RPM. So for higher rotational speeds, we apply more torque and that's why the torque is changing here. Now, what happens if I increase my wind speed? So if I do this here, I can pause it now and you can see that the moment I increase my wind speed, the the aerodynamic torque suddenly increases, so then the difference between the two becomes positive, and then I get a positive acceleration, so I get an increase in the in the rotational speeds of the rotor. And then because the generator torque is uh, is varying with the the RPM, then the generator torque increases until yeah, both of them are gonna are gonna match. Um, or we get like a difference here that's zero and then again an, an RPM that's close to constant. And the same thing if I decrease the wind speed, right? Suddenly the aerodynamic torque decreases, so the RPM decreases and then the, the, two, the two torques are, uh, are going to match again. So what happens in the grid loss event? Well, a grid loss, what's going to happen is that we, we lose the generator torque, basically. So I can come here and say special event, loss of torque, and yeah, maybe start at 15 seconds. So here at 15 seconds, suddenly we're gonna lose the, the generator torque. And yeah, you can see that we start the same way as, as we did before. So, you know, with different uh, generator. Oh, sorry, we lost the torque at 10 seconds. Uh, maybe I didn't press enter. So, okay, so at 10 seconds, we lose the generator torque. Okay, so suddenly we have a very big difference between the aerodynamic torque and the, and the generator torque. So, you know, the difference here is, is positive and really big. And because of that, my wind turbine suddenly starts spinning faster and faster, right? And you can see that that's, yeah, that's going to that's gonna keep increasing. The RPM, the RPM is going to keep increasing. And as long as I have a difference, a positive difference between the aerodynamic torque and the generator torque, which is zero, then the wind turbine keeps increasing. So this is only gonna, it's only gonna stop once the, aerodynam the aerodynamic torque becomes zero. And yeah, that happens after after a while. Um, when that happens, we, you know, the, the, the speed, uh, the RPM is called the runaway speed. And, uh, yeah. and you can see that that's what we're uh, going towards now. The question that remains though is, well, how come the aerodynamic torque is gonna become zero? And if I pause the simulation and I increase the visualization of the loads, 
Well, you can see these orange vectors here, which are the ones um, producing the torque. And you can see how they go in both directions. So, you know, we have some going in the direction that you'd expect to try to spin the wind turbine. But at the tip, the torque forces are actually going in the opposite direction. And obviously these ones are the ones that contribute the most to the, to the, to the total torque. So if you sum up all these loads or you know, all these torques, you get to something close to zero. And that's why eventually the aerodynamic torque goes to zero. Cool. Uh, well, I hope this taught you something. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, if you have any question, do let us know. See you around.